The Atlan area boomed in 1898 as an offshoot of the Klondike Gold Rush. That pinpoints the geography. Atlan is barely inside British Columbia, just over the mountains from Juneau, Alaska, and a few miles south of the Yukon border. In the Klondike and here, gold lay in the river gravels and mining involved working through the surface gravels down to bed rock and there retrieving the nuggets and flakes of gold that through the millennia were buried under the gravels. Today you see abandoned pipes and steam shovels from the early days and the sterile mounds of worked gravel. Wayne decides to salvage a few spikes from one of the jumbles of rotting timber. It's a tradition anywhere in the outback. You salvage and reuse whatever you can. This town is Discovery. It sprang up around the opening gold strike in the Atlan district. 5,000 people lived here, then all left. The town is proposed as an official B.C. historical district now. And visiting it, you want some sort of protection other than the chance one of isolation. The discovery strike was made by prospectors out of Juneau, Fritz Miller and Kenneth McLaren. They came in by dog team in January, traveling partway over the Klondike Trail, then veering off to Atlan Lake. Only pack rats live in Discovery now, but it is said that in 1898, some 1,300 men building the White Pass and Yukon Railroad threw down their picks and joined other stampeders in heading for the new strike here. Progress in laying track stopped. It was all a great flurry then, but today, the buildings stand silent, and the monitors that once shot out water to work the gravels lie rusting. There's gold still, however, and with the price up, there's again mining. In fact, today's dozers rework the old gravels and cut into the timbers left by yesterday's miners. This current placer operation strips off the upper 20 feet of the river gravels, then shovels up the lower 10 feet and dumps it into a sluice box. Water washes away silt and gravel. Gold, being heavy, settles out. 25% of it lodges at the top of the sluice box. Another half gets caught in the upper third. Atlan always has been known for its nuggets. They're used in jewelry. These rings run about $150 a piece. A nugget necklace may cost five or $600. Gold sold to a jewelry shop in Atlan brings a miner $225 an ounce. Sent to the mint, it brings only $140 an ounce. 